Hi friends, I welcome you all in this video wherein we are going to visualize the bubble charts. Now, these are very fantastic ones. I mean, I really love. And while I myself was learning about the bubble charts, I used to experiment a lot uh, with both the random numbers uh, which are used to draw the bubble charts or even the uh, data sets that were used to create the bubble charts. Now, here, first and foremost, one is to remember that what are the uh, library packages that I need to uh, use. So, here you will see that import numpy as np import matplotlib as pyplot so that i can plot the uh, python uh, i mean plot the uh, graph using the python now here first and foremost uh, rather than using a data set what i'm going to do it is create randomly now some numbers i'm going to pick it up and uh, save it in numpy uh, data frame and then proceed further so that i can um, i mean after creating the data frame obviously i will proceed further now here i have taken a uh, in fact, uh, three, um, I should say, data that I needed uh, in so that I can see the different um, colors or the visualization for the bubble uh, charts out here. So, X is the first data frame in which the random numbers that I have chosen for NumPy is 80. Similarly, Y is the other uh, data frame wherein uh, it has been taken care for again for 80. And Z is also the third data frame again for the same number. Now, how am I going to give the code as to what am I supposed to do? So you can use the word colors uh, as the data frame because we are going to see the uh, plot. I mean the bubble out here in different colors for all the three data frames that we have created. NP dot random dot rand, and these are for the eighty bubbles. You have to show it to me. That's what I'm giving them the instruction. Now use the scatter function. I think I I could have uh, showcased to you in fact even how to draw the scatter plot. It's nothing. Uh, the easiest way to code this one would be plt dot scatter and since i have got uh, i'm doing it for two two together so first i'm taking up x y uh, comma and s equals to z in 2000 uh, uh, comma c is for the colors and i'm saying plot uh, show me the graph for the bubble chart so once i go ahead and take care of it and later on i'll show you something else as to how we can proceed further let me run this one and you can see if you calculate uh, the number of bubbles they would be uh, 80 in number number one for each and every color that we have got and then they have not for each and every color i think i should say uh, that for each and every data frame that i have created randomly and then i'm proceeding further now here let me show it to you another way now in instead of 80 i'm changing it to 30 so that we are able to understand what is the uh, difference between them and now you can see if i keep on increasing the number of bubbles are also increasing if i decrease the number the number of bubbles are decreasing so instead of 80 now i want to make it as 180 now let us see how it would turn out to be now if i make it as uh, 180 out here and uh, ch change i mean r and d is must when you are doing the coding with uh, python so here you can see that i have changed everywhere with the same number and i'm trying to run now here you see i haven't changed it for the colors i changed it for the others however the moment the colors came in i changed it to 180 you will see that the entire plot has been populated more so this means that here randomly whatever number you give so many bubbles would be there and you can change the colors now here i have written as c equals to colors you can specify the colors now that's a complicated part of it so i'm not entering into it however this is the simplest way in which you can go ahead and you can plot the graph for the bubble charts for the three different colors that i have taken care of so in the same manner you can do it for five six the choice is all yours how you want to do it now even with the uh, colors in fact here i have used uh, i mean this is the default one if you want you can specify the colors also and there is a different code which i'll be showcasing it later on till then thanks and take care bye